I started listening to the No Jumper podcast, I think in like three years ago, and it kind of introduced me to the whole SoundCloud world, that whole genre, and then I yeah. got insanely into it, and I moved from Buffalo to Tennessee, yeah. kind of moved away from all my friends and shit, so I was, I had like my family and stuff in this Tennessee, but then I was kind of super isolated from a lot of other people, right. so I kind of just like sunk into the music kind of thing, yeah. and just let that, just used yeah. it as like a study time basically, and just would listen to record after record after record over and over and over and over and over again. Stack the damn cash, stack the damn mess. I'm a movie star, baby, that's slowly fast. Welcome to Psych IRL, my name is Donna. So on my channel, I do analyze YouTubers and internet culture. Despite me not saying anything too overly negative, there is a level of dehumanization that happens. For example, I never make videos about why my friends lose their jobs or receive a pay cut. I have, however, made a video theorizing why YouTubers may lose viewership. So when one of these YouTubers by the name of Bobby Burns was contacting me wanting to do a collab, whom I've analyzed before, that human element came back. And it was a little bit scary because I tend to forget this. Because sometimes I don't relate to the fame, the money, the opportunities they get, but ultimately because they're behind a screen. How, how, how are we gonna say hi? I don't know! <laughs> Let's wing it and see what happens. Okay. But or, 30 minutes early, I don't know. 30 minutes early? Okay, so it's gonna take, it's 12 right now, and it's gonna take us 30 minutes to get there. Wait, okay. food, have you eaten? I've eaten, yeah. Okay. Have you? A little bit. You should probably not faint in front of Bobby Burns. <laughs> Every YouTuber says they're a normal person. And I think Josie and I knew this at its core, but that's sometimes hard to remember because normal people don't go outside and have fans chanting their name wherever they go. And so we were worried about things you don't normally worry about when meeting someone new. And yeah, down to its core, of course, everyone is all human, we're all the same, but it is an undeniable fact that there is a hierarchy that exists. Take a look at the dynamic between a boss and employee. You have a certain amount of respect for your boss because they provide you with opportunities you wouldn't otherwise have. And that dynamic can be extended to celebrities, YouTubers, CEOs. Though we do have a certain respect for these people, we do tend to criticize them harsher because we hold them to such a degree. Okay. We're Your getting closer. I think we're here, you guys. How you doing, guys? Pretty good. Hey, Jordan and our, our little puppy Knox. Oh, I saw you. Oh, it was you guys. We thought yeah, we right? saw you guys out there. Okay. Wait, what's the name? Knoxville, but we call him Knox. Uh, can you do pull-ups? Is that weird? <laughs> <laughs> can you do pull-ups or is that weird? Here we go. We got one. We got oh. two. We got three. And that's all I'm doing. So the last one is an embarrassing. <laughs> Yeah, this is a picture that um, my sister painted of uh, Post Malone mixed with uh, Scrim, who's my favorite, one of my favorite rappers. Um, all squished together. She made it for her. That's awesome. Oh, it was for Christmas, so she made it for her Christmas present. I didn't even know you had a sister. I have five siblings. Oh, no way. Yeah, I'm the I oldest. I swear, it's like you're just your brother. Yeah, no, it's, yeah, it's, I, it's me, my sister Katie, Nathan, Emily, Natalie, Every single person in my family yeah. is obscenely talented at everything yeah. they do, and I'm yeah. I'm like trying to catch up with them. I'm like, come on, guys! So it was really cool meeting Bobby. When you meet someone in person, you do see a different side of them. And I was watching a lot of opinion pieces about Bobby, his content, the whole Shane Dawson collab. And so the goal of this video is not to say who's right or who's wrong, because I think no matter what I say, there will be a back and forth in opinion. Instead, I wanted to take a look into what happens when your audience is so vocal about not liking the kind of content you put out. Normally YouTubers stay silent, come back a couple weeks later, and it's like nothing ever happened. So what happens in that moment of silence? Does it affect their life? Are they just waiting it out? Well, let me I'm, ask, are you, are you happy with your content right now? Or are right you, now? Yeah, yes. right now. Right okay. now, I think yeah. I'm making some of the best that I've made in like a long time. What did you think about your past content? Which content? <laughs> Um, the vlogs, particularly, like that whole transition after Shane. Um, I, I have like really mixed feelings about it mm -hmm. because I was like really was fully giving my all into it, and I I was trying to make a, like a show, like I wanted it to be like like friends and like what David Dobrik was doing, kind of mixed with 
the feeling of friends and kind of the pace of that. Yeah. Um, and I think I really accomplished that on like two episodes. I get, I get it. I get why people, I get why it happened. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I, I get it. I think the, it became trendy to hate me, I think. I think be just because, because it did get clicks, you know, like it gets clicked. And it's so insane to have, to be on, to be, have been part of the commentary community and then to have succeeded out of it and then to feel like every part of that community that I had, I feel like I helped build part of. Not that I started it or any of that bullshit, yeah. but like I feel like I did help to further it a little bit with the stuff that my brother and I were doing because I think it, it was super unique and really cool. Um, but it just felt almost like everyone that I had tried to help build and reach out to just turned on me. And it was the weirdest feeling because it wasn't just criticism, it was like nasty videos. Like people being like, like calling my girlfriend a cunt, like many, many times in a video. Like that fucking sucks. Like she didn't do anything. Like she like, like I don't know. It, it's like that that part of it. That part of it really sucks. Why do you think? Like just because you you changed your content? Or I, it, there's I think there is a, a a a lot of different things that that though there's a lack of communication definitely. Yeah. Um, but that came from not understanding how to deal with the level. Of, uh, of viewership that I had seen because I communicated to my audience the exact same way I had always communicated to my audience. I didn't tell them what was going on in my videos. I didn't give them much behind the scenes. I didn't tell them almost anything ever. So when this huge audience came in, I continued to not do that because I was like, I don't have to do that. I can just make the videos. But you can't whenever there's that many people because if you, they don't see you, they think you're dead. Did it affect your outside life at all or? The... Just like the whole... the backlash i guess oh like, destroyed my entire life completely no way. oh yeah yeah like i it, it got to the point where i i didn't leave my house ever i stayed in bed most days i i think i did like it, it like crumpled everything around me and it it got it got really bad <laughs> there's a certain point and that it, it got to the point where it was just like i i, I have to not give a fuck about almost the audience anymore for a little bit so I can figure out what I'm doing. Because right. every single thing I would put out, there'd be such a crazy backlash, I would just not put another thing out. Yeah. Because it was like, okay, so I can't do anything because everything, every single thing I put out, everyone hates. I, it's like just this insane whirlwind of every single opinion you can possibly imagine coming at you at once, constantly. And every time you get on the internet, you see all of them. Okay. And you can't not see them because if you sign into any of your social media accounts, mm -hmm. all of your fans have sent you all of them. All of the videos, all of the th screenshots of the comments people have made about you every time you sign into anything. Right. Right. So it's impossible to escape it if you want to do the job. I think this left me more questions than it did answers about internet culture. One of the biggest ones for me is that when you sign up to become a YouTuber or to post online, is this something you just expect when you sign up for the job? And I don't want you to get the wrong message. A lot of good things have come out of critical videos, bringing down inappropriate pranks and bringing down Ponzi schemes. And so yeah, I will continue to make the kinds of videos that I do normally upload, but I do have to keep in mind that human element. Who your favorite artists? Um, Maybe top three. Yeah, top three? top three. Oh, fuck. So I have like Mac Miller, YG, Travis Scott, Lil Peep, Suicide Boys, Yourself. my own record. <laughs> your own record. <laughs> Denzel Curry. Um, let's skip that. Uh, Marilyn Manson, Juice World. I do also see the other side where people spread negativity not for the sake of criticism, but for the sake of spreading negativity. At the end of the day, analyzation isn't just limited to YouTubers and making videos about it. It's part of human nature. We analyze our coworkers, our friends, our family. But remember, when we analyze others, someone else is also analyzing us. Hey everyone, I hope you liked that video. Special thanks to Josie for being camera. Couldn't have done this without her. And also, we did a video on Bobby's channel. I think I was super awkward. It was the first time I did that kind of video. So if you wanna see me being, go watch it. And that's the end of the video. I will see you guys next time. Stay psyched.
that border yeah, collies are the sweetest yeah. thing yeah. ever. <laughs> it's like a child. Yes, exactly. It's, another, it's the best child other than my wow. child. Ah! Attacked! You're Do you want to be a YouTuber too?